Hello everybody, Friday morning and um, hey, a good one too because it's nice and sunny. We're getting a bit rain later at the weekend. Speaking of rain, shall we discuss the water signs? Um, okay, let's start with cancer. Cancer females. They're kind of, um, they're kind of quirky. You get two types. You get the very sort of internalized, more conservative Cancerian female, or you get the wacka wacka woo one that's very lunar and quite creative. Either one, they're good worker bees. The unfortunate little quip with Cancerian women is they tend to collect bad relationships, like we would um, collect shoes, for example. Um, that's their only fault. They tend to do too much. Cancerian men. Well, let me tell you, everyone I've met and friends of mine who have Cancerian other halves, they really do prefer either a very strong dominatrix woman or an older woman, a mother figure. They love to be nurtured and cosseted. Although they do make good parents or good fathers, I think they prefer to be the only child in the family. Okay, moving swiftly along, shall we go to Pisces, the fish, swimming in opposite directions? I tell you, the Pisces women I've met, one little quirk about them is they seem to be absolutely oblivious to their surroundings. Okay, their internal surroundings, their home, their life. But if they walk down the street, they might not notice a person collapsed on the other side of the road. They don't take stuff in. They'd make horrible detectives. But they're loving and peaceful little creatures, <laughs> nevertheless, and usually very attractive ladies. Haha, <laughs> got Kendra's just come in on my uh, thing, but we'll ignore her. Um, Piscean men. There's an old saying my grandmother came out with. Never marry a man that swims in both directions, i.e. a Pisces. Why? Because they make fantastic friends, they're ultimately creative, um, fun spiritual people, but they are rubbish with money. Um, they often, hello Kendra, <laughs> they often will have a very bad habit like gambling or drinking or overeating. Very sensual creatures, wonderful friends, but not good marriage partners. Okay, last but by no means least, Scorpio. Um, difficult water sign this one because Scorpio women. I've had some good Scorpio female friends and I, I think really there are two types. There's the type that's quite strong-willed, quite dramatic, you know, a bit of flair, quite a colorful individual, uh, very strong views, yeah, quite a dynamic woman with her own mind. And then there's the other one, which is the complete ravey mad nutball troublemaker. And uh, honestly, I, I I think all Scorpios, including my mates, which are Scorpios, which are the sort of quite strong-willed ones with a um, strong ethical background, I think they should come with warning signs, especially the men, the Scorpio men. My word. They're either saints or sinners. They either want to be with a saint or a sinner. Um, they're perverse. They love playing mind games. They like pl starting arguments for the sake of it. And, and kiss and make up. Oh, no, I, I, I'm sorry. I, kn I know Scorpio men are lovely to look at. They're probably great to shag. But no way are they sensible for a relationship. Okay, those are my opinions for the day. Love you guys. Speak to you soon.